What you wanna do is you wanna tie their success back to you being the reason why they're successful. A lot of times when people get to this point and they start to see success, they look back and they realize how much work that they put in, they bridge the gap and in their own mind and equate their success to their own effort, which is true. However, if you weren't the guide and if they didn't have you there, they still wouldn't see the success that they've seen so far. They would ultimately be in the same spot that they were before they signed up. So what you need to do is reinforce the fact that you are the reason why they are seeing success and why it's happened. So you want to get them to say, yes, this accountability has been the biggest reason. Yes, this nutrition plan has helped so much. Yes, the fitness and having access to these types of classes has been a game changer for me. So you want to always make sure that you reinforce you as the person as to why they're seeing success. Here's how you can convert over 75% of your trial members into long-term $200 or more EFTs inside of your gym. My name is Kayla Wan. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs, and I wanna walk you through the process that our gyms use and what we teach our clients on how to actually convert trial members into long-term EFT memberships. For context here, this can be used for any type of gym membership. So it doesn't matter if you're doing a seven-day free trial and you wanna convert them into a $20 a month general access membership, or if you want to actually get someone who's come in on a six week, eight week challenge and convert them into a long term, high end boutique style membership, that's 200, 300, 500 dollars. Same rules apply. So let's walk through this. The first thing is if we take a step back and understand the context of this, this conversion needs to be a meeting. It needs to be a one on one meeting and it needs to be set up around the halfway point of anyone's trial. You never want to wait to the end of the trial. You always want to do it at the halfway point. Once you sit down and you meet, the first thing that we need to do is number one, congratulate congratulate them on their effort so far inside that trial. I'm going to use the six week challenge because that's the thing that our clients use and it works the best. We meet with them at the 21 day point, halfway point. They meet with them. The first thing that they do is congratulate them on everything that they've been able to accomplish during the first three weeks of their actual trial. Now, it's really important to congratulate them even if they haven't lost any weight, even if they haven't seen anything because the sheer fact of them actually coming in and working out is a feat in and of itself. So congratulate them on their effort, their results. There's always something that you can do to congratulate them on. The second thing is to explain their success. So what we want to do is we want to tie back the reason why they've seen success and been able to do or achieve whatever results they have at that point to the three pillar approach, which is why you'll see the stool right here. The three pillar approach is nutrition, fitness, and accountability. It takes all three in order to see success in health and fitness. And what you want to do is you want to tie their success back to you being the reason why they're successful. A lot of times when people get to this point and they start to see success, they look back and they realize how much work that they put in. They bridge the gap and in their own mind and equate their success to their own effort, which is true. However, if you weren't the guide and if they didn't have you there, they still wouldn't see the success that they've seen so far. They would ultimately be in the same spot that they were before they signed up. So what you need to do is reinforce the fact that you are the reason why they are seeing success and why it's happened. So you want to get them to say, yes, this accountability has been the biggest reason. Yes, this nutrition plan has helped so much. Yes, the fitness and having access to these types of classes has been a game changer for me. So you want to always make sure that you reinforce you as the person as to why they're seeing success. Number three, what we want to do now is define a long-term goal or is what we would call as kind of a new you gap. Here in this piece, we want to paint the long-term vision because at any trial, it's a short-term defined in program, meaning it could be seven days, it could be three days, it could be eight weeks. It doesn't matter, but we all know as fitness professionals or really in any business, if you're running trials, we know that ultimately in order to get the results that they want in their life or their business, we know that they have to have a long-term goal, that the short-term trial isn't going to fix all their problems. So what you want to do is really define where do you want to go? And then you want to create that gap and let them know and make it very clear. Cool. So you understand understand that you're not going to fix this in six short weeks. We know that we have a long way to go. We've already made incredible headway into this, but we know that it's going to take longer, right? Cool. So you want to make sure that they understand that and that it's not just a short, quick fix style journey that they're going to be on, that they need to really dig in. And this is going to take a while. Number four is you want to make the offer. Now on this one, you want to make sure that you're hitting on the piece of cool. Let's not take a step backwards and go back to where you were before. Let's just keep doing what you're doing so that we can make sure that we're seeing the results that we need. Because if we go back to explaining their success, the reason why they're seeing success right now is because they have the fitness, nutrition, and accountability. If they leave, they no longer have the fitness because they could do it on their own. But in the past, they've shown that they haven't been able to. Number two is nutrition. They definitely don't have the nutrition on their own. And number 
three is accountability. Who's gonna be their accountability partner? No one was before, right? So who's gonna be their accountability partner now? Who's gonna hold them accountable and coach them through the process to achieve those results? Number five is you wanna guarantee the goal. So now at this point, you wanna eliminate any risk in this type of equation, and you wanna make sure that you're giving them every reason to say yes. So the reason why we do guarantees is just to eliminate risk. Most people think, oh, there's a risk in committing to this price point or this agreement. We wanna eliminate that by offering a very simple, easy guarantee. So this one works really well, is a conditional guarantee. You will lose X amount of pounds by Y date, or I will keep working with you for free until you do. This is exceptional in the fitness industry, works really, really well across the board, but understanding that the conditions really are three simple things. They have to come to 100% of the workouts, meaning whatever their agreement states, whether it's one workout a week, two, three, whatever it is, they have to come to 100% of the workouts. They have to always reply when you reach out. This is the accountability piece. And they have to take the products or supplements and follow the nutrition plan that you've outlined. If they don't, then that negates the guarantee. And that's the reason why they wouldn't reach their goal. But if they do all of those things and still don't lose the weight by that date, then you will coach them for free, provided they still maintain all of these pieces. Now, the beautiful part about this is we all know is if you're a fitness professional, you know that if they do all the things that you tell them to do, follow the nutrition plan, do all this stuff, they're gonna lose weight. So it's a win-win no matter what. And if they don't, I'm sure if you're like me as a gym owner, you would be happy to continue to work with them for free to make sure that they reach it. Number six is you wanna do a same day discount. So now we're talking about creating scarcity and urgency. We want to give them a one-time offer saying, cool, so typically our normal price per week is actually 59 or $69 a week. But today, because you're, emo you're motivated, you've proven that you really wanna do this, I'm gonna knock off $10 a week or $20 a week, and I'm gonna take the money that you put down on this trial, if they paid for the trial, I'm gonna credit it to your membership moving forward. So that's gonna bring your weekly price down to 49 a week, and you're gonna to continue to get everything that you're getting right now. And you can say, literally, you don't have to pay today, we're just gonna sign this agreement. Your payments don't start until the end of the trial, okay? And then the cool part is, on the last piece, this is the easy card close, where it's simple, where it's you just wanna use the card you have on file. And that's where you lock them in. Now, one key, really, really important piece to this is that always make sure that you have them sign an agreement. Don't just get a verbal yes. Have them sign an agreement. This is very important so that they're locked in, they are fully committed. Don't just take a verbal yes. Very similar to a close in the initial sale. If you close them and they just give you a verbal yes, that means nothing. You need to have some sort of agreement in place and money exchanging hands. So on this one, you're just getting the actual agreement signed and the money will exchange hands at the end of the trial. This makes it super easy. And I wanna talk about one concept here before I end this video, and it's very important. You'll notice on this when we talk about that same day discount, what we're doing here is we're doing a downsell upsell. What we mean by that is typically how we teach our clients is they're going to have a high end or mid ticket front end offer. So six week challenge, that is $5.99. So it's $5.99, it's $100 a week for six weeks. But notice if I sell them now at a 12 month agreement, right? 52 week agreement at $49 a week. What I've done is I've downsold price and upsold commitment. So the length of the agreement goes up, but I've downsold the price. And so that's downselling and upselling to be able to make sure that you ascend people. So downsell price, upsell length of agreement. And you can do this across any type of business. It doesn't really matter, but this works exceptionally well to close and ultimately convert 75% or more of your trials. You can do this if you are a health club and you do seven day free trials and you wanna do this, meet with them at the fourth day, third or fourth day, meet with them, sit them down, walk through what they've been able to accomplish, walk through all the different amenities and services that you offer, and you can convert them there. If you're a boutique facility and your payments are $49 a week or $59 a week, do this after a trial. Like in the middle of the trial, use this same process and you'll absolutely crush it. Hope this helps. As always, if you like this stuff, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to this, and if you want to, down in the comments or the description of this, you'll be able to have access to this entire document plus written out information of a full breakdown of how to do this, plus so many other different types of frameworks. It's called the seven money models on how you can scale your gym to over $100,000 a month. Like clockwork, all you gotta do, click the link in the description below and download it now.